Startup starts with a need and uh, you have to fulfill a need that is hot and burning and people are willing to pay for it. So this year uh, it seems like the needs going to be in alignment with people coming out of the COVID with their particular ways of doing work. Work from home has increased. The gig economy has exploded. There are more freelancers than ever before. So one of the things is if you want to do B2B business, build products, softwares, services that can cater to the freelancers, the people who are working from home, the, the people in the gig economy, the trainers, the course creators and all these people. They need help, they need automation, most of them are not very tech savvy. So anything you can do for them, you will do well. Number two, anything with blockchain that is up and coming. People are talking about NFTs, if you don't understand it, it's okay. People are talking about cryptos, if you don't understand it, it's okay. Find something that you understand. The blockchain the whole idea is you have a property, digital or physical. It could be a land, like a physical property, or it could be a digital property like cryptocurrency or uh, a drawing, NFT or whatever. And you somehow have the ability to create access control, right? You can say, you can create an artificial scarcity through which people are like, oh, there are only five of these that can be bought and so I want to pay a lot of money for it, right? So anything you can do with blockchain in terms of digital or physical properties, you will do well. The third thing that I would suggest after the train is gone is, wow. The third idea I'm going to tell you is to deal with cyber security is becoming a bigger problem as things are becoming more digital in India. Uh, more people are committing identity thefts and other kinds of much more complicated cyber crimes like deep fakes and things like that, right? So things are getting more and more complex in terms of crime. So if you can do anything to, to help with the crime aspect of cyber security, you will do well. And the other side is online reputation management where some celebrity or some politician or somebody influencer, they get trolled. People talk shit about them. If you can help them clean that up through SEO, through whatever means, right? If you have that skill to clean up their mess and make them look better online, again, a lot of money from less people and it's kind of a premium kind of area where people are willing to pay any amount to protect their reputation online. When they're Googled, when they're searched, they want to show their best face forward. So that's also a very up and coming uh, segment. Fourth would be uh, in terms of fear factor. After COVID, people are scared, right? And they're scared about the health, about their future, what's, you know, what's going to happen. So if you see some of the industries that have popped up are astrology, insurance and things like that. So anything you do in that direction, even mental health, you will do well. And the fifth uh, idea I'll tell you is in the pet care domain. Pets are becoming more and more popular. Unlike US, we used to just take care of pets like we take care of ourselves. But today in India, we are becoming more and more fancy in how we take care of our pets. Um, <laughs> I remember one time driving through this pet spa where they had so many things. It was actually the list was longer than when you go to a human spa. And that's a reality in America and that's going to be a reality in India and it's growing because people are becoming more and more lonely. People are becoming, you know, less people are marrying and less people are having children. So pets are kind of replacing that emotional void and when you put your love in that one direction, in that one animal, you want to pamper it, you want to give it more. And there's a whole industry, a multi, multi billion dollar industry that's popping up that is very lucrative and it's already proven in the Western world and it is not going to be any different. So pet care is going to be my fifth startup idea for this year. So wish you all the best. If you need help, come over, ask for a mentorship, ask for an incubation at Kolkata Ventures. We'll be happy to support you with incubation, with funding, with startup resources, any way we can.
Thank you for watching this video. If you need more help, you can use the number in the description to book your meeting or mentorship. Just call or DM on WhatsApp to book your slot.